it's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you a quick Kizzle run through of the MLB games today on Wednesday, April 12th. We got a lot of day games today, so let's just get right into it. So to start off, uh, yeah, don't forget to put your picks in the comments too. I like to see what you guys are betting. And uh, if you can, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. No problem. Here we go. All right, Astros and Pirates. We got Jose Urquidia versus Rich Hill. Right here, I'm taking the Astros on the run line. Rich Hill has not been pitching well yet with the Pirates, so I'll take them. All right, Yankees, Guardians, Clark Schmidt versus Peyton Battlefield. Uh, I believe he just got called up the pitch for the Guardians. Uh, I'm gonna take the Yankees probably money line there now. This game is intriguing Blake Snell versus Tyler McGill And he's got a nice ERA right now, but he pitched twice against the Marlins So now he's facing the Padres lineup Blake Snell has been walking tons of people have a lot of runners on and the Mets are good again on base So I'm either looking at the over here or the Mets Next up, White Sox, Twins, Lucas Galato versus Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray's been pitching really well. I think he had 12, 13 strikeouts last game. Um, so we're all over the Twins in this one, definitely. Mariners, Cubs, Logan Gilbert, Marcus Stroman. Stroman's been pitching very well this year, especially at Wrigley. Last year he wasn't pitching well at home, but this year he is. Uh, I like this to be a low scoring game. I'm looking at the under. This has got a high over. The Cardinals and the Rockies. Flaherty and Urania. Uh, Flaherty's been walking people. Urania's been walking people. I kind of like the over here. But in 13, so many runs, man. I don't know. You can't trust the Cardinals. Rockies at home are good, but you can't trust Urania on the mound, so. Probably leaning towards the over. Maybe I'll do a little alternate, put it in a parlay over 11 or something. All right, next up, Brewers and Diamondbacks. We got Dre Jamison for the Diamondbacks. And what's his name? Jansen Junk. Jansen Junk just got called up to play. Um, I'm kind of liking the Diamondbacks on this one. Yeah, probably the Diamondbacks money line. Next up, Marlins and the Phillies. Eduardo Cabrero and Zach Wheeler. Both pitchers have not been pitching too well this year, but the Marlins offense is just not there. Even though Ares hit for the cycle yesterday, they're still not scoring enough runs here. Uh, probably looking at the Phillies money line. Yeah, sounds good. All right, next, Nationals and Angels, Mackenzie Gore versus, uh, what's his name, Garrett Cannon? Griffin Cannon. He missed all of last year. He was out for injury. Uh, he's been pitching well in the spring, but let's see. Let's go there. Come on. Yeah, see, four innings, two runs, four innings, zero runs. Yeah, uh, but against the Nationals, Mackenzie Gore has been pitching really well. I don't know. I kind of like maybe the under on this game here. Yeah, we'll go with the under. Next up, we have the A's and the Orioles. Both high ERAs there. Probably looking to either Baltimore or the over nine. All right, next, Red Sox and Rays. Chris Sale. Verse do, 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 Taj Bradley. They just called him up to pitch too. And he's only pitched an inning or two here and there. So it's probably going to be a bullpen day for the Rays. But I trust the Rays bullpen more than I trust Chris Sale right now. So we're going with the Rays to be, what, 12-0? and 0? Yeah, 12-0. and 0. Let's see it. All right, then we got the Tigers and the Blue Jays. Erod versus Kevin Gossman. Gossman's been pitching really well this year, so I I can I'll bet him to continue to pitch that well against the non-existent Tiger offense. <laughs> so we're taking Blue Jays run line there. Next up, we got the Reds Hunter Green 
for Steven Strider. Wow. Definitely with Strider on the mound, you take the Braves all day. Uh, run line. Eh, Hunter Green pitches all right. Uh, let's take him on the money line. All right, then we got the Royals and the Rangers. Brad Keller versus Nathan Ovaldi. Wow, Brad Keller. Let's look at his stats real quick. Game log. Let's go. All right, so he has 5.2, three hits, one run. There you go. 4.2, five hits, two runs. How many walks? Three walks, four walks. Damn, he's walking people a lot. Right there, I don't know if I can trust him with all those walks. He's putting runners on, and the Rangers are pretty good right now. They've been uh, scoring some runs. They're looking like a new team ever since they got the good pitching from DeGrom, right? Uh. Five innings, five hits, two runs, six Ks. Five innings, six hits, three runs. One or two walks. Uh, the Royals have no offense. That's the problem there. So we're going to take the Rangers' money line. Last game of the day. Oh, we got a good pitching matchup. Clayton Kershaw, Kershaw versus Alex Cobb. Not really the greatest pitchers this year yet, but Kershaw and a division rival like this, he's going to come to play today. Uh, under seven and a half. Oof. That's tough there. It's either going to be. Oh, they're tied 1 1. I'm going to take the Giants, man. They're probably plus one and a half. I'm taking it. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, maybe I'll bring you a parlay video. Got to go to work in a few minutes. But uh, I'll try to put out some other KBO run-throughs, uh, maybe MPV run-through, um, maybe a uh, play-in run-through tonight. And that's it, guys. All right, let's get them. Beat the books. Let's go. Kizzle out. Have a good day.